What exactly are lipids and how are they related to heart health? So lipids are basically fats. When we look at different substances in our body, um, um, we have different um, um, chemicals and compounds and whatnot, and we look at different parts of our diet, there are different compounds. The diet is made up of proteins and carbohydrates and fats, fatty acids, oils, and our body absorbs those and uses them and packages them in certain ways, and lipids are a form of that. So specifically, lipids are fatty compounds. They're not soluble in water, so if you put them in water, they separate, and the two main lipids are cholesterol and triglycerides, which we'll talk about a little bit later, um, and those are the components of the lipid profile as well. So where does cholesterol come from? So cholesterol is actually made by the body. That's kind of a myth that people think that the amount of cholesterol you eat really makes a big difference. Every cell in the body will manufacture cholesterol. It's necessary. Um, um, now, on the other hand, it's not what's called an essential nutrient. Essential nutrients are foods we must consume as human beings to live. There are omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids, various amino acids. We have to eat those. We don't manufacture them. But cholesterol is not an essential nutrient, which means if you eat a zero cholesterol diet, you're perfectly healthy. Your body makes all the cholesterol it needs. So the cells make cholesterol. The liver, the biggest organ in the body, has the most cells, so the majority of cholesterol is made in the liver. You said if you eat a zero cholesterol diet, that's not possible. It is possible. Really? Sure, sure absolutely. It's hard it's difficult I was I mean, gonna say it's gotta be nearly yeah, impossible yeah. because you've yeah. got to really rip through your foods and you've got to only get certain things it, it, I've, I've so, never heard of so there's no reason to do it number one but number two the reality is most foods that contain cholesterol also contain other substances we need so I explain for example there are essential fatty acids fats you must consume omega-3s omega-6s cholesterol is found in some of those foods so if you're gonna eat foods that you need by definition, you're going to also be getting in cholesterol. But if you ate a, a, a man-made diet of nutritional substances, let's say astronauts in the space station who are getting just what they need, and it doesn't include any cholesterol, they, they're going to be perfectly healthy.